Alrighty fam, today's video is going to be pretty interesting and hopefully succinct. I'm headed out and it's a Sunday, basically heading out to buy some dumbbells for my parents. Mostly two and a half kilograms and five kilograms. And perhaps I'll see if I want to get something for myself as well or not. Now the interesting thing is that I was going to get like a 25 kilogram for myself so that I can do like a shoulder press with it. I can do squats with it and I can do a chest press with it, like a dumbbell press. But the thing is, a dear friend of mine, Sneha, said that, dude, if you get those, if you get like a 25 kilogram dumbbell, then you're just going to be lazy. You'll keep working out at home and that means you're going to be in your comfort zone. You're not going to push yourself. That will basically mean that you won't make any gains. And I think she makes sense because I don't like to listen to anybody except myself. She makes sense when she says that. So what I'm going to do is maybe not buy 25 kilograms today. Maybe I'll pick up the 15 kilogram dumbbells because that is necessary for bicep curls. I was doing bicep curls at home today and I really felt like I need 15 kilogram dumbbells. As of right now, I only have like a 10 kilogram dumbbell. And please don't worry, I'm driving. My eyes are on the road. I am barely looking at the camera. So don't worry, I am being very safe and keeping others safe on the road as well. Now let's get back to the point. We also need resistance bands at home. And that I'm going to order from Decathlon. So I'm going to this sports store. I'm going to ask them for resistance bands. If they have good ones, of course, I'll get them because they are very good for mobility as well. I'm going to basically tell you how dumbbells are priced because they are pretty damn expensive. At least the store I go to, they charge me per kilogram and it's supremely expensive. I'm going to try and bargain the best I can. But honestly, I am terrible at it and we'll just end up getting something today. I'm going to run you through the process. Maybe it's going to help you with getting more equipment for your house. And before that, before I head to the store, I'm going to head to Lucky Paji's gym. Lucky is modern monk. He's opened a new gym. Uh, I mean, he transferred his old gym to this another location. And that's where I'm going to be working out tomorrow onwards. So I'm just going to go say hi to him, congratulate him, because four o'clock was uh, an inauguration at his gym. And it is 5.15 right now. So just going to just go wish him the best and then be on my way to get the dumbbells as well. I rarely head out like this in Dardun because I truly just don't want to get out of my comfort zone again. But I think those dumbbells will be very necessary to get my father started with his uh, weightlifting journey. Two and a half kilos, five kilos. And I think if he starts with that, he might see some changes and that might inspire him to hit the gym. But he, whatever said, two and a half and five kilograms, is what we're going to go purchase today. So stick with me for the journey. I think it's going to be valuable for you. I think you're going to enjoy it as well. And we're going to try and bargain. All right, we're here at Lucky's gym and the view is quite magnificent. I'm going to give him that. The view is beautiful, but we're not going to be focusing on the view because we shall be interested in weight lifting. I'm pretty excited to get back into the groove of things. Man, been lazy for so long and this is how the gym looks. So you can have a nice little peek. There's no 45 kilogram dumbbell yet and I think it should be there. It's quite an omission. But that's okay, we're excited to get back into track. A bulk will be done for the winter months and we are ready to go intense. Yeah, so right after this I'm gonna head and buy some dumbbells for my parents. Okay, so I've reached the spot where I was supposed to get the dumbbells but I've also spotted a pet store so I thought I'll get something for the babies haven't bought any treats for them in a while Jasmine got them from the United States but I thought maybe let's pick something up so if I find something clean I'm gonna pick it up let's see I want to show you what I end up getting boss quick clean treats hongi premium Free, apple freeze dried dog sea crunch freeze dried real fruits and vegetables yes, sir. But you pick them in the Oh yeah, yeah, variety, variety sticks. sticks. They're made of Cabin. chicken meat. Oh man, they have glycerin, gelatin, sucrose. Sucrose kyu dalenge pet food mein? That is unreal, man. Sucrose, chicken. phosphate, yeah. Sugar, nasty, man. What the hell? Guys, whether it's for you or for your pets, please read ingredients. Chicken, jerky, premium dog snack. Let us check this out. Right, let's check out the ingredients. Chicken meat, vegetable, glycerin, glycerin. sorbitol. Sorbitol is again... Sorbitol, what is it? Sorbitol. 
कुछ भी हेल्थ के लिए सोबिटोल पता नहीं शुगर जैसे ही साउंड कर रहा है सोबिटोल लेट्स फाइंड आउट वॉट सोबिटोल इज इट्स एन एल्कोहल विद अबाउट हाफ द स्वीटनेस ऑफ सुक्रोज सो इट्स अ शुगर ए ओ मैन लाइक वॉट आर दे डूइंग विद दीज इंग्रीडियंट्स नास्टी आई डेंट थिंक थिंग्स विद दिस बैड लेट्स चेक आउट चिकन जर्की स्ट्रिप्स इंग्रीडियंट्स और आई दिस सीम्स प्रिटी इंटरेस्टिंग इट्स कॉल्ड डॉक्सी चू and it says it's made from 100% pure yak and cow milk and the ingredients are yak and or cow milk lime juice a hint of salt that's about it and these are doxy chews by the way this is not an ad right these are dental chews with like real turmeric again the ingredients are the same and there's this thing called coconut so doxy crunch coconut this is like 100% coconuts So I think I might get one of these and see how they like it. I hope it's clean enough. This seems like the cleanest thing honestly out there and handcrafted in the Himalayas and it has real turmeric. So we're going to check this out for the babies and see how they like it. Ye do de do and there's like a 40% discount. I'm very wary of discounts usually because if it's discounted it's not getting sold off. Let me check the expiry date. 2025 and 2025 we're good to go so far but yeah we're going to quickly pay for this and apparently i can tap with my debit card it's quite something it's an hdfc card but i can tap with it 94120 bye guys all righty we are finally here for the dumbbells let's go son this is the most exciting part hello namaste dumbbells chahiye dhai aur panch aur resistant bands parents ke liye chahiye sab kuch I'll show you which ones I'm getting and which ones I've got before. They're high quality. I'm very happy with them. The grip is amazing. Right, I'll show you which ones I have. They are pretty superb. I think you can get them for your house, yes. Dekhana. Right. This is the one. This is so good, man. The grip is superb. All right. These are the resistance bands. Koi piece khula hua hai aapke paas? Right. We're going to put it to the use and see how our shoulder mobility works with it. Right, not bad for a warm up, you know. बट इसकी रेजिस्टेंस ज्यादा लग रही है मुझे सो द डील इज दंड्रम इज आई वॉन्ट गेट एब्सोलूट क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट्स बट आई ऑल्सो डो वॉन्ट स्पेंड अ लॉट सो दैट्स क्वाइट अ कनाड्रम इज इन इट बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट द बेस्ट बट आई डो वॉन्ट स्पेंड अ लॉट चलो ये बता दो टू एंड हाफ एंड फाइव तो दो दैट्स कन्फर्म टू एंड हाफ इसी में देखना वीवा में बिकॉज आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट द रेजिस्टेंस बैंड सो वी कैन गो फॉर इट लेटर शुड वी गेट अ कैट वेल यू नो Itchy palms. Like I want to, I want to spend on this stuff. Man, this store is very hard to figure out. Like, it's like a warehouse, but the guy knows what he's doing. Most Indian businesses are running like this, and I think I'm not gonna be able to get a discount, which is quite sad. So we're getting the Viva Thermo Power, five kilogram for the parents and two and a half for the parents. But I think that's about it. I'm not going to be able to get anything more because it's not a good shopping experience. That's why Decathlon and these places end up selling you so much stuff because you go for one thing and then you end up picking up 10 other things, right? So I'm just going to pick up the 1 and 1/2, uh 2 and 1/2 and the 5 and perhaps a 15 and then be on my way and some day I will get the 25 for myself. I think that'll be quite something. Yeah, that's about it. All right, so we're getting these 15 kilogram ones for myself, and the five kilograms for the parents, and two and a half for the parents again. And I think I want to invest in these for sure. So I'm going for this brand. I've tried it before. I think it works best. The grip is solid. No problems with the grip whatsoever, and they they last really long, man. Like I've kept them outdoors the entire time because I don't have an indoor gym at home, and they've lasted pretty long. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. some damage is being incurred but it is for health i know i'm pretty much getting like looted but that's fine because if i was like building a gym i'd have to like get better prices this is way too expensive we're going to name this fitness for level up program because this will be used in the level up program so i would say this is a business expense wouldn't you say sir I would call it a business expense. Alrighty, we are done. That was quick. 
I don't want to stay any longer because the damage is just going to increase. But you know, I initially wanted to get the 25 kilogram dumbbells. And if I did that, that's going to be mighty expensive. 25 into 25, 25 plus 25, that's going to be 50, 300, 15,000 for just one pair of dumbbells. That's going to be obscene. But no worries. That's the price we pay for building gains. Alrighty. So that was it. That was me getting some dumbbells for my parents. Things are not cheap. But you know, I like to put things in perspective. This cost like 13 and a half thousand and I think that's very expensive. I mean, it seems quite an expense, right? But think about it, man. We go to Delhi and then we end up dropping like 10,000 and 20,000 per head on a bill, per night, even if not per bill. Because Delhi is crazily expensive and that doesn't seem to pinch us. And we're like, yo, we're having a good time. What are we doing? We're consuming alcohol and eating bad basic food and we drop 10,000, 20,000 and we think nothing about it. And the next morning we wake up and then we do a brunch and then we again drop like 6K, 8K and we think nothing of it. And these dumbbells are gonna last me like 10, 15, 20 years. They're, they're gonna be for there for a while. I mean, I'm not gonna get any more dumbbells, right? Even if I build a proper gym. So I think it's a worthy investment. It pinches in the moment, but overall, I think it's gonna be a superb decision. And with this thought, I'm gonna end this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment and i'll keep showing you life through my lens i'ma see you later alligator